Hello everyone and welcome to your second English lesson for this week. You will need a pen or a pencil, a home learning book or a paper to write on. So pause the video now and go and grab those things. So your writing task this week is to write a diary entry and your story will be based on Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Each day you will build up ideas ready to do an extended piece of writing on Friday. So this is our model text for today. So the Monday the 1st of March continued, it's the same day. After much coaxing and questioning, I managed to get my mother to open the locked door. I was so excited. Finally, some bit of adventure in this dull and dreary flat. My mother went to the ring of keys and pulled out this blackened key. She placed it in the lock and turned it carefully. As the door swung open, I held my breath. There was nothing there. I was met with a cold brown wall. What an anticlimax. I felt so defeated that I trudged back to my room to sulk. I fell into a fitful sleep and I dreamt of a mysterious black figure. At least I thought it was a dream. So what feature do you think I've highlighted here in red? Well done if you got it. So here we are looking at irregular past tense verbs. So our LO is to use irregular past tense verbs with accuracy. So again, a reminder, past tense verbs refer to actions or events in the past. So we already know that some past tense verbs can end in ED like the ones on the screen here and those we went through yesterday. If the verb ends in E, we just add a D on at the end. For some verbs, we need to double the end consonant and add ED on at the end. And if the verb ends in Y, remove the Y and add IED. So all of these ones are called regular past tense verbs. So some verbs are irregular and change their spelling to show past tense. So here I have a list of them on the screen for you. So for example, the first one, okay? Every day I eat, yesterday I ate. So the spelling completely changes, the word completely changes. And these are ones that we need to practice and we need to get used to how they look and how they spell. So past tense verbs still show something that happened in the past, like yesterday, last week, or last year. So Caroline went eagerly to the locked door, holding her breath as she turned the handle. So she went. So we know the verb is go, but in the past tense it becomes went. It completely changes. So let's have a look here. The cat leapt out from the shadows and scared Coraline. The irregular past tense verb is. Well done, here we have leapt. So it's important that you look at the spelling here, okay? It's not gonna be L-E-A-P-E-D, it's gonna be L-E-A-P-T. Next one, Miss Spink went to walk her dog even though it was pouring rain. So the regular past tense verb here is. Excellent, it is went. So that verb completely changes. Another one, Caroline wrote the strange events in her diary. What is the irregular past tense verb here? Fantastic, it is wrote. So to write, but in the past tense it becomes wrote. So which of these sentences includes an irregular past tense verb and how do you know? Coraline quickly laid the table for dinner. Miss Spink desperately wanted a new puppy, but Miss Forcible wouldn't allow it. Coraline rushed down the stairs and accidentally broke an ancient vase. So pause the video and tick or cross. Let's have a look. So the first one, we have the word laid, okay? So to lay the table, but in the past tense, it becomes laid and make note of the spelling here. Next one. No, I don't have an irregular past tense verb. I do have a regular past tense verb, which is 
wanted. Well done if you spotted it. So wanted is regular because it ends in ed. So there is no irregular past tense verb in this sentence. And the last one, here we have broke, to break. And in the past, I broke. Now, have I identified the irregular past tense correctly? And how do you know? Coraline heard a noise and quickly hid behind the dusty pillar. Her father knew she had been disappearing, but he couldn't figure out where she was going. The old man had warned her, he said not to go through that door. So pause the video now and tick or cross. Let's take a look. So the first one is a tick. To hide, and in the past tense, I hid. The second one, I underlined disappearing. That is incorrect. That is not an irregular past tense verb. It ends in ing. That's how I know. And the last one is not correct. It's not irregular. It is a past tense verb, but it ends in ed, so it's regular. Here, the ones that I should have highlighted, I have knew, to know, past tense, I knew. And we have say becomes said. So past tense verb refer to actions or events in the past. So our LO is to use irregular past tense verbs accurately. So pause the video and take a moment to write that down. Okay, so which sentence is more engaging for the reader? Coraline was afraid of getting caught, so regularly listened for her parents. Coraline was concerned of being caught, so regularly listened attentively for the sound of her parents' approach. Very good. So number two, we have our past tense verb, concerned of being caught, to catch, caught. And we also have some adverbs making this a more engaging sentence. Next one, the disgusting rats ran through the dirty, dusty crack in the wall, or the dirty rats ran through the dusty crack in the wall. Very good, so number one has more description, it has disgusting rats, it has dirty, dusty crack in the wall, so this one is more engaging for us. Help me improve my writing. Have I included irregular past tense verbs? And can you edit and refine my work? As I walk down the stairs, I meet Miss Pink. This woman had once told me she used to be an actress, but I wasn't sure I believed that. I asked to walk her dog, Hamish, and I think the look of distaste told me that the answer was no. So pause the video and edit this work. Okay, let's have a look. So as I walked down the dusty and smelly stairs, I met Miss Spink. So here, my tenses need to be in past tense. So I fixed that and I've also added in some description. This woman had once told me that she used to be an ag actress, but I wasn't sure I believed that. And I gently asked to walk her dog. So here we're adding in more description and we're fixing our tenses to make them past tense. So your turn. Your writing task today is to continue the diary entry of Coraline. What happened next? Explain what happened next and your feelings about it. And don't forget to use the irregular past tense. Here again is the model text if you want to use it to help you. And I have also put a slide here with some irregular past tense verbs if you would like to use them. So good luck with your writing and I will talk to you all tomorrow.